money when you sell your house, right? The most money possible. Well, your house has to look good for people to want to buy it. And so that's why Tina McQuaid is here. She's got some before and after staging picks. As a real estate sales representative, you've seen the mistakes people can make. And you've also seen when people can really reap the benefits of proper staging, right? That's right. That's right. I mean, do you have to spend money to stage? Couldn't you just clean up your house a little bit, declutter? Well, you could. Uh, that's all part of the process. I really recommend people do declutter and take their personal items out of the home. Um, that way the buyer can see themselves moving into the house. And you mean they that 70s see. graduation photo? Yeah, maybe no, no. not going to really? work. <laughs> but the nice thing is that if you do declutter, you kind of have to also stage your home so that people can see all of the, the benefits and the features of the home um, and what it'll do for them. So if you have too many things in their home, even though it's clean and um, you might have decluttered, it still can lead to uh, a less of a sale. A room feels smaller. Yes. Or uh, someone doesn't see the, the potential of, of that room. Yeah, people get so caught up with your knickknacks or furniture that you've got, maybe it's oversized, that they can't get past it. So they can't actually see themselves moving into the home. Well, we need to see the proof. Let's see some before and after pictures. You brought a few uh, with you here. So the, this is a townhouse? Yes, this is a luxury townhouse. And uh, as you can see in the before picture, it's pretty dark. Um, there's oversized furniture. It's brown. It's beige. It doesn't look very luxurious. No, no. It's actually not looking like a luxury townhouse. So if you were looking for a price that was higher up on the market, um, especially since you paid that amount probably to move in, um, then you want to expect that kind of luxury and opulence. And the photos really don't do its justice and the, the furniture is terrible. So, so just having that there. old TV, for example, on top of the fireplace just is uh, a no thing. So when you look at the after though, you can see it's bright, airy, it's been painted. There's um, modern contemporary furniture. People want to live here. Yeah. They can actually see um, it's got some uh, lovely um, Well, the room just shutters. looks bigger. Yeah, it does. It's very inviting. All right, let's see another one. Let's okay, get more. so another one we have is um, this beach house uh, in the beaches. Uh, and you know, those are typically smaller homes with just a one floor plan with a kitchen in the back, usually small. And this um, home, although it was probably renovated, doesn't show itself to its best potential. Right. Um, whereas the after potential, uh, after shot shows just a really nice gleaming hardwood floors, open concept. That's what people are looking for. And the lighter color furniture helps to enlarge the room too, doesn't it? That's right. And it's it's also modern, contemporary. They have chiffon on the, the windows. And of course, you can see the pot lights, but they really showcase all of the, like they make everything sparkle. Let's see another one. Oh, okay. this is so fun. Another one, uh, this is a condo. And condos, everyone might have a condo. Um, and, you know, they can be a little boxy, a little small. And if you see this one, it's just got so much furniture, although it's nice furniture, so much of it. And it's actually blocking the windows. Where you look at the after uh, picture, it's just opened up so sort of white on white. Now, as far as staging goes or decorating in general, mm -hmm. the Pantone color of the year this mm -hmm. year is a color that is a little uh, more daring. It's what, what do you call this color? This one's uh, Pantone color of the year for 2018 is ultraviolet. So should we be staging and painting with that? You know, um, my adage is that uh, these are trends. And so if you paint with a trendy color, you might fall into uh, to be a victim of not being able to sell your home because people are going to be, uh, it can be jarring. Sure. Like this is a very and that's a saturated be a tough color. paint to cover. Yeah, over. Exactly. So you've brought some examples of, of ways that you can incorporate it mm -hmm. without it taking over the room. Right. Now what you can do, and I just picked these up at the dollar store so anyone could do it. It's very simple. Um, just, you know, put touches here and there if you want to be contemporary and keep up with the trends. Say you have um, even a, a wall that you might say, 
okay, I'm going to lend, you know, this color here. So you could even shade, use a, a, in your light bulb, you could use a purple light bulb and just no. cast it into that wall. And then it's not permanent and the buyer can still see, yeah, she's trendy, yeah. <laughs> but uh, they're not, uh, they don't have to go and paint over the wall. So smart. If mm -hmm. we want to call you and hire you to sell our home and yeah. to stage it properly to get the most amount of money, how do we do that? Uh, well, there's my website, mymississaugahome.info, and you can call me uh, or text me at 416-602-9901. Awesome advice, Tina. Thank you so much. My pleasure.